And if you pull off this wall panel, that gives you entrance to the secret wing. So let's go take a look inside. You got this. Sean the Modern Yeoman, and today I'd like to talk about. Hello, friends. I'm Sean the Mo. Hi there, yo folks. I'm Sean the Modern Yeoman, and today sometimes it. Hello, friends. I'm Sean the Modern Yeoman, and you know sometimes I feel like it's not easy. Hello, friends. I'm Sean the Modern Yeoman. Homesteading is hard. I'm Sean the Mutt. Hi friends, I'm Sean the Modern Yeoman. And today I'd like to spend a day outside showing you around. Hi there, yo folks. I'm Sean the Modern Yeoman. And you know, sometimes I think... folks, I'm Sean the Modern Yeoman. And sometimes things don't work out on the homestead like we wanted them to. That principle applies to this YouTube channel and also to individual videos. Today's a prime example of that principle. I was going to spend some time walking you guys around the homestead in my monthly homestead update and walk around episode, but as you can kind of tell, Mother Nature is not exactly amenable to that idea today. It's been raining for about 12 hours straight thunder, lightning, sheets of torrential rain, not exactly conducive to time spent outdoors. So what does that really mean? It means we're stuck inside. Let's take a chat. I have to admit, being stuck inside is not very easy for me. Dare say it takes a psychological toll on my well-being. I spent most of my adult life working a variety of different corporate jobs, and I have nothing bad to say about the people that I worked with or the companies that I worked for. They were all really amazing companies, really amazing people. I did realize maybe two years ago that I really, really get a lot of satisfaction from working out of doors. I think I was mowing the lawn one day, maybe two or three years ago, and I realized I love doing this. I love mowing the lawn. I love raking leaves. I love being outside. We had chickens back then when we were up there in Michigan in the suburbs, and I love taking care of the chickens. It was extremely satisfying to me in a very tactile, real way. It's something that I don't get sitting here on my computer inside at a desk. And before you ask if I'm afraid of a little rain, I'm not. Don't worry, guys. That was one long peal of thunder. I'm not afraid of the rain. I come out here and work a lot. I have to take care of the chickens. I have to take care of garden stuff. I have to do a lot of different tasks out here. I'm not afraid of the rain. I'm not afraid of getting wet. But when it comes to making YouTube videos, it's not the easiest thing to do to set this little camera out here and start working on a YouTube video, especially when I'm showing you different aspects of the homestead. Besides, I think I'd like to use this video to make a point. What point would that be? 
you might ask. Well, the ability to pivot on a dime when necessary. If you watch this channel for any length of time, then you'll probably know how surprised I've been at the importance of improvisation and the ability to change directions at a moment's notice. That's been a skill in homesteading that I did not expect that I'd need, but probably one of the biggest that I've tried to pick up in my seven or eight months here on, on our property. So with that being said, there actually is something that I know I need to take care of today, or at least check in on, and that's checking the secret wing in our house upstairs. Let's go check it out. So I call this a secret wing for a couple of reasons. There's a window up there. Now, normally when you think of spaces like attics, you don't think of a, a space that's tall enough to where you can stand in there and that has a normal weather sealed window. I think that it might have been, that's that space up there might have actually been used as a room at one point in the past. Now this old farmhouse was built in 1940, so it's got some decades behind it. At one point, maybe that was a functional living space up there. Either way, it was stripped down and now it's kind of like a, an, an empty space, I guess you could say. And so we didn't really know about it when we moved in here. Uh, we checked it, the inspector looked at it, we had never been in there. And so I only went in there once, maybe twice, just to kind of look around and check for leaking and stuff. But now with it raining out, it's a good time to go back up there and check for leaks in earnest. It's due, I'm due to go back up there anyway. So let's go check it out. There are no lights up there. So I'm bringing my super bright LED flashlight. Let's take a look. So this is the closet space in here. I'll just open it up now. And it's Holly's office up here, but normally she has her office space up here and there's this weird little kind of no man's land. There's not really anything going on in this space, but there's a closet in here. And if you pull off this wall panel, that gives you entrance to the secret wing. So let's go take a look inside. Okay, so let's take a look. Now, somebody put planks down so you can walk around in here. And are we seeing any leaks? We are not seeing any leaks, interesting enough. It's an interesting old space. Kind of creepy that there's all these old coat hangers. But look, there's a window. How crazy is that? How many attics do you know that have full-size windows like that? <clears throat> Here we go, look around. Now, I know a lot of people are gonna say that you need some sort of underlayment underneath these, underneath the metal roofing, and we know that. That's something we have to get to eventually. We'll get there when we get there. In the meantime, we're excited about the potentialities of this space. It's a pretty large space up here. Are we seeing bugs? I'm not seeing bugs or anything. I mean, a couple of spider webs. That's just an electrical box. So there's probably not gonna be anything that we do to this space for a while, but it's kind of cool to know that this, this space is up here and eventually maybe we could do something with it. I mean, eventually we're gonna have to get this stuff underlaid anyway, something to, some sort of layer to put in between the metal roof and the wood here. So if we're gonna be doing that at some point, we may as well put up some sort of sheetrock or drywall and turn this into a functional space. Now. There'll be issues, of course, things like air conditioning and heating and all that good stuff. But I like to think about the future possibilities of this space. It's a really odd kind of room up here and I'm excited about this. But the main reason I came up here, look for leaks. I'm not seeing any, none. It's dry as a bone up here. Now let's walk out of here. Well, good news is that the attic or secret wing space is completely dry. Even with all of this rain, it's very dry up there. And yes, I know that there are issues that we do need to take care of, but I'm really excited about all the possibilities that we have going on up there. So with that being said, yes, it's rainy. Yes, my plans were a little bit altered, but at the end of the day, I'm pretty happy that I was able to make sure something is okay and still keep busy. Thanks for hanging out with me today, guys. And remember, like I say, 
always mean it too when I say it. Slowly, slowly.